all of the things that are all of the environmental connections to breast cancer. So these include radiation, the big categories are radiation, electricity, including various types of electromagnetic fields, chemicals, plastics, and toxic metals. Uh, so those are the categories of environmental links to breast cancer. So in terms of some of the chemicals, um, they include chemicals used in disinfection of sewage, drinking water, and chlorinated pools. So chlorine, we already talked about chlorine combined with carbon forms an organochlorine, which is estrogenic. So these all act like the hormone estrogen. Pulp and paper, it's the same thing. Um, estrogenic chemicals are created. PCBs, which are polychlorinated biphenyls, which aren't used, aren't made anymore, but they're still around in the environment. Um, some of them are in electrical transformers still, and some are just present because they don't break down. And so what we made 50 years ago is still floating around in the air and the water. And the PCBs that we take in are mostly from food, mostly from fish and fatty food like cheese and fatty dairy because it's gotten into the animals. And then chlorofluorocarbons and perchloroethylene. That's what is in dry cleaning fluid is the perchloroethylene. So that may be what you were affected with in utero perhaps. So radiation, breast tissue is one of the most sensitive tissues to radiation, particularly in the childbearing years and in young women before puberty. And radiation can cause cancer any 40 years later, right? So it's, there's a long latency after radiation sometimes before cancer occurs. So one of my patients in the past was radiated as a child because she had an enlarged thymus gland, probably a good thing, and it was radiated. And then she got breast cancer in her 40s, you know? So, or scoliosis people who have a lot of x-rays for their spine because they have scoliosis. We have to be careful about the amount of radiation that we get. Um, sources of radiation include nuclear fallout, fission materials from nuclear power plants, radiation disposal leaks, flying at high altitudes, or even excessive mammograms, particularly in women who have a family history of breast cancer and they start having mammograms at age 40, and their breasts are already hypersensitive to damage, and they get more damage from that radiation. So even the lowest level can cause cancer in susceptible individuals. So no level of radiation is safe, and yet it's around us in the environment all the time in varying degrees. There's a greater effect on the breasts of girls between 8 and 20 years, and there's a high incidence of breast cancer by age 35 if significant radiation exposure occurred at a younger age. So how do we protect from radiation? There's lots we can do. We can take the sea vegetables, the brown seaweeds. It has to be the brown seaweeds contain sodium alginate, which binds to radioactive molecules for 80% increased excretion. That's fantastic. So a little bit of kelp on a daily basis because it's a brown seaweed. Turmeric can decrease inflammation um, and inhibits cancer in general. Cooked tomato sauce uh, during radiation exposure contains lycopene, which is an antioxidant that will prote help protect from radiation-induced cellular damage. Uh, all the vegetables that are high in beta-carotene, like yam, squash, carrots, Swiss chard, spinach, will also, it's an antioxidant that can protect from radiation. And goat whey or soy protein powder has cysteine in it, which is also helpful. Minerals like calcium and potassium help in the excretion also of radioactive particles and other antioxidant supplements that would um, prevent some of the damage from radiation are vitamin C, E, CoQ10, zinc, selenium, grapeseed, alpha lipoic acid, NAC. Flax oil protects the cell membranes. So um, if you can prevent um, carcinogens from entering the cell and affecting the DNA, then that's a good thing. And to protect, to prevent that, you want to have strong, healthy cell membranes, right? If the cell membranes easily collapse or break, the carcinogens get in more easily. So it's the oils, partly the oils that protect the cell membranes. And vitamin B3 and B12 and generally the B complex are, can be utilized to repair DNA damage. So the body has its own repair system, finds a problem can fix it if it's got the right um, assortment of nutrients, and so B vitamins help with that. 
Green tea also removes radioisotopes and protects from cancer. And the, the Chinese medicinal mushrooms, reishi mushroom, maitake, and shiitake mushrooms also yeah, sustain the immune system to protect from cancer. And dietary fiber, about 40 grams a day, can deter the absorption of radiation, enhance its excretion.